Hi guys, it's Darren here from DeepBlueApps.com. Thanks for buying the template. I'm going to show you how easy it is to edit and customize and make levels. Now you noticed here we're in the template area. I've got a template here. Now what you want to do is Alt left click and just drag and release. And we'll call this one number 10. So it's going to be level 10. Just go in here and you can see everything's on the correct layer. If you go into scene layers, you notice the stars, background, everything's in the correct layer. Now let's just start building a level. I'm going to show you how quick it is. Just move the hero up there to start with. We'll Alt left click just to make a copy of this actor. Drag that across there. We'll put the little mine there. Let's just repeat. just have the goal at the bottom, just move this one up a little bit, increase the size, let's just put it in this corner over here and let's just use this as a little wall, put some crates in, alt left click, make some more crates. Now this actor here is actually tiled in the graphics, now it's at the bottom of the layer, it's always best just to make it a little bit bigger than you need it and that will actually go behind the black, bo uh, the black blocks as so. Now you can test your level. <clears throat> so here we go. It's one go. Two. Three should do it. Just have another little test, see if we can do it any quicker. Ooh, I think two is possible. Yes, it is. So once you've worked out how many goes it's possible to do it in to get you three stars, etc, etc, we go back to the table. Now the table here, come down to 10, because this is level 10 that you've just made. Now the first column here, that's how many, how many goes it takes you, how many blasts to get one star. Now, I think it's pretty fair to say, we'll give them eight blasts. If they get it in over eight, then it will signal a game over. We'll do five for two stars and the three stars, column three here, we know it's possible to do it in two goes. Now, column four takes care of itself. This is basically if you've earned any stars, it just keeps track of how many stars you've got. So, for example, you get two stars on a level, you go back and you only get one star, it'll still give you two stars. However, if you do get three stars, it'll update the three stars, so that's pretty nice. So we've done the level, we've done the table, now just press home, we'll go into the level select. You can see here we've got nine boxes. This is level nine here. Alt, left click, just drag this across here. Go into this actor, what level to 10, because we just made level 10, and then just scroll down here, and we need to change the scene to 10. And that's pretty much it guys, that's all you need to know, how to edit and change the levels, and I'll speak to you soon.